Hi, welcome to another video. So, Klein has launched a new update that makes it kind of amazingly good and actually very budget friendly. Let me tell you what these new updates are and how you can use them as well. I had covered the updates up to the workflow updates in the last video. So, let me just quickly tell you about the next updates as well. And then the major update that just dropped. So, after the workflow update, they added proper Claude 4 model support, along with CSV and Excel file support as well, meaning that it will now also allow you to do data analysis with it. Gemini 2.5 Pro and more model providers and models were also added, with a better Olima model selection dropdown and streamable MCP as well. Another thing is that Grok 3 is now free with Klein if you use it. Yes, it seems to have no limits and is fully free, but I haven't used it because Grok 3 is not that good at all for coding and agentic tasks. So, there's that. They also added collapsible MCP response panels to keep conversations focused on the main AI responses while still allowing access to detailed MCP output. But now comes the main part, and it is that you can now use Klein with Claude's Max and Pro subscription. They say that if you have Claude code installed locally, you can use it as an API provider to use your existing Anthropic subscription in Klein. They are still working through some issues in getting this experimental integration working seamlessly and hope to have a follow-up update soon. This is awesome, because just like how you use Claude Code Unlimited with the $200 plan, you can now use that in Klein as well, which is awesome. This PR has been existing on Klein for a while, and it's good to see it merged. I'll show you how you can configure it and use this because this now makes for an awesome alternative to Cursor. I mean, Cursor also launched the $200 plan recently, but this seems like a way better option now to use with Klein, which is awesome. There's also now reduced diff edits. They say that there are significant improvements to search replace diff editing. Sonnet 4 currently sits at a sub 6% diff edit failure rate. It also now has MCP notifications for long-running tasks. They say that MCP servers can now send progress updates during long-running operations. You can now also configure a default terminal profile in settings for Klein to use. This helps with shell integration unavailable errors. They also added a new setting to constrain terminal output size. Useful for when you run commands that may overload the context window. There's also UI polish for refactored copy button components for better consistency. And the MCP rich display settings can now be configured on the settings page. These are the updates. Now let me show you how it all works and comes together. So, just open up VS Code and make sure that you upgrade it to the latest version as well. Now just open it up and you can see that some of the UI here is a bit better now and looks a bit more polished than before. However, if we move on to the settings, then in the provider, you can see the Claude code. This is pretty cool, and what it does is pretty simple. It basically uses the Claude code non-interactive mode as a provider, which means that this is not against the terms of service of Anthropic or anything because they anyway allow you to use the non-interactive and SDKs anyway. So, this shouldn't be an issue for those who are concerned, and the requests are not routed to their API through Klein itself. Instead, Claude code is used as a proxy for communication. Anyway, if you have Claude code installed in the base path, and you can run it with the Claude command, then you don't have to do anything. But if you don't have that, and you have set it up in a specific path or something, then you'll need to enter the path of Claude here as well. Also, you can select between Claude for Sonnet and Opus as well, based on what you want to use, and the same limits will apply as they do on Claude code. Also, 
make sure that you have Claude code set up with your subscription and not API key. Otherwise, it will just use the API key. So, just do that as well, and you should be good to go. Also, since we are in the settings, we can head on over to the terminal settings here, and you'll see these terminal settings. In here, you can see the new option to set a default profile for Klein to use, like it can be Ziash or Bash or stuff like that as well. You can also change the terminal output to be higher or lower based on how you like it as well. Anyway, now that everything is set up, we can head back, and now we can ask it to do something. Now, it should work just like Klein does. So, I can ask it to make me a Minesweeper game using HTML, CSS, and JS. Once we do that, it will just go ahead and start to write the code and everything that Klein does. I am yet to encounter any errors with this, which is quite awesome, as it's the first iteration. But if you find something, then you can report it to them, and that should be taken care of. I don't see too much of an issue currently, but I have seen that Claude's subscription cuts off the context even more. So, that can be an issue at times here if that happens. I haven't used the Claude Pro or Mac subscription as much for now, so I'm not sure about that either. I really liked this new update and thought to tell you guys about this as well. Also, for the MCP servers that I've been using, I've mostly been using the same ones. But recently, I switched from Context 7 to VisionCraft. VisionCraft is a much better alternative to Context 7 because it has access to even more documentation than Context 7 and is faster. It also doesn't require the coder to select a specific repo first and then run search queries on it, as you can just write a search query and use that directly. You can simply set it up as an MCP server and then ask it for something, and it will fetch the latest documentation and everything you need. It is free with some limits, but you can also choose their very low-cost subscriptions. So, that is something you can use as well. I have been really liking it, and it is amazing for sure. There is also the free Grok 3 models, if you wish to use that, and that should be kind of cool as well. Though, it doesn't work too well for me, and I'd rather use some other free stuff rather than using this. It is just bad at complex tool calling and stuff. So, there's that. I have been enjoying Klein more these days, and the settings and stuff have also been cleaned up, and it's much more pleasing to the eyes. You can go ahead and try out these updates, and let me know what you guys think about this as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option, or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!